Hello everyone and welcome to the show. It's Ethan here from Extreme RC 4x4 and sitting in front of me today I have a complete set of Yoda 1 and Yoda 2 axles and um, I'm doing this because I have not seen a complete comparison video of the entire sets of axles and the Yoda 2's are brand new right now and the Yoda 1's are used off of my trail finder. So starting out with the main difference in them, um, the rear axles, we can start with them. First thing you'll notice by looking at them carefully is that the Yoda 1 here has quite rounded lines around the diff cover and that is because it's not removable. On the Yoda 2 you have nice sharp lines and to remove the diff cover on this one you have to take off this main axle piece here and remove some screws that attach this from the inside. You'll also notice that the rear axle has extra shock mounts right here and right here while the Yoda 1's do not have this. They have the same as on the bottom but they do not have the ones on the top. Moving on to our front axle, this also has a removable diff cover and this one does not, but um, both of these only feature shock mounts here and here, and they both feature the uh, kind of knuckle piece right here that helps keep dirt and debris out of your uh, axle joints while you're steering. Another thing you may have noticed is that these knuckles have two sides that you can mount links to. The Yoda 1, on the other hand, only has one. And the reason for this is so that your steering link that comes down from your servo can go to either side of the axle here. And um, then you can run a link behind the axle that won't get hung up quite so easily. So there you have it. Um, another thing is that right here, these tubes are a little bit larger than on the Yoda 2's here, and you cannot see any mold lines on the Yoda 2's. I'm pretty sure that's because they are solid, and because of that, they're able to make them a little bit more thin tubing, which is a bit more scale. And um, these are the hexes of the Yoda 1's that I am currently running, but um, these have no grub screw to lock it on. I can just simply pull this right off. On this set of axles, I know it has a screw on it, but it has a grub screw right here to keep it from coming off while you're removing tires and whatnot. But um, there you have it. That is the complete Yoda 1 and Yoda 2 axle comparison. I believe the Yoda 2s are only slightly more expensive and if it were me, I would um, definitely go for the Yoda 2 axles over the Yoda 1s just because of your aftermarket support in the diff cover. You can make it exactly how you want it to look and because you can run the steering link behind the axle and just in case you wanted more options for mounting shocks, the rear axle has more um, points where you can mount your shocks to test them out. And do know that all of these axles are leaf spring compatible, and all of these axles are also 4-link and 3-link compatible. You just have to purchase them separately. Um, here are some part numbers for, the, um, for what you need. This is the Galena 2 front 2-link and, or sorry, front 3-link and pan hard bar mount. Um, basically, this is so that you can mount three links and then the bar going across to help avoid bump steer. And then this is the Galenda 2 rear four link mount. Now, do note that both of these parts work with the Yoda 1 and Yoda 2 axle set. So don't let Galenda 2 confuse you. And um, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you in some way. And um, please check out the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.